women's title match, the first title match of the night, uh, was, you know, hyped very well. I really enjoyed the hype promo. Um, obviously, these two were, you know, respect for each other. The friendship was there. They've teamed up mm-hmm. together. They've been in each other's corner. Um, but they held no punches. You know, it was, oh. it was a pretty brutal match. You know, very heavy hitting. You know, Conti's got some brutal knees and brutal kicks. Um, you know, a lot of news. What I liked about Sheeta's performance was like I saw a lot of new submissions from her. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think that Witch's shot on top of the turnbuckle was really cool. Um, and this this side of Sheeta is the side of Sheeta that I've been wanting to us to see as the fighting champion. This is what this was, I think, one of her best matches to date of mm-hmm why she's the champion you know if she was in you know defending the title every other week every week whatever it is and having matches like this like this would really make her her title reign that much more dominant and meaningful because of the you know she's only wrestled twice in singles matches this is the third one and we're in in april granted she had stuff with the women's tournament and all this and all that but that's a a, wow i know her record was 2-0 in 2021 now it's 3-0 um so (laughs) But, you know, listening to your guys' show last week with Bonds, um, I agree with Bonds and you. And, you know, I've, I've said it, but, you know, he said it was either you or him said that she was the most improved wrestler in mm-hmm. AEW so far this year and yeah. uh, for Ty Conti. And I completely agree, man. She yeah. showed up again. Very convincing with her storytelling. Very, very dominant with her moves. Mm-hmm. You can tell her, her submissions, her strikes are very spot on. And... Mm-hmm. Um, methodical and Sheeta had great counters with those and she had brought her her a game and we ultimately took you know d- defended the title for the bigger picture that we're all waiting for which we'll talk about after but what do you think of the match first i mean it was definitely hands down elite for me um you know i always have high expectations for the women's match because we don't usually only get one on the card other than last week um in, in a division that is growing rapidly and very very strong right now uh this was a home run Absolutely. No, I mean, this was an elite for me without question. Um, I felt like going into this week, I was really excited for this matchup. I mean, I, I honestly, um, a lot of people were, were most most buzzed for the main event, and that is right. totally understandable. That matchup was sure. an incredible blend of styles and two real fan favorites. But for me, absolutely, I, I was most excited for this match, and the reason why is because, uh, you know, I felt like – since day one at Dynamite Download, I've been a huge advocate for the tag, tag division mm-hmm. and for the women's division in this company. I think that this company has grown a lot. And, and when you see the women's division and you look at this from a, a big picture perspective, you can really appreciate the work that they're doing to present the, this division as something special. Uh, and they're investing in this division. I think that, you know mm-hmm. – I've and I've been put into positions where unfortunately you have to defend Sheeta, as you talked about, not getting those opportunities to defend her title. I right. can't I can't put that at the feet of the champion herself because every time I see Sheeta wrestle, um, I'm always incredibly impressed by her. I, I always am incredibly uh, taken aback by how hard hitting. Her matches oh, are. They're sure. always they're in, they're consistently hard hitting. Doesn't matter who her opponent is. She could be against someone bigger than her, like Nyla Rose. In this instance, against somebody like Ty Conti, who forces her to change up her game and, and meet time. some and, and really go against one of the best mixed martial artists in all of professional wrestling. Ty Conti, even though she's young, you see the pedigree that this young woman has. You know, you like to talk about pound for pound strength when mm-hmm. it comes to. You know, pound for pound uh, knowledge or experience in, in MMA uh, and, and really the world of martial arts. Ty Conti has a lot of skills in her in her toolbox that she draws on, and it pushed our champion to get out of, outside of her comfort zone. And I think that that was something that was much needed tonight. Um, yeah. I I love this matchup, and it delivered because SPD. I've mentioned it before. Ty Conti reminds me, and I, I said it to Bonds, this mo- she's the most improved wrestler on the roster this year. She reminds me of a young Thunder Rosa. She has that tenacity. Okay. Nice. She, you know, Thunder, we, when we interviewed her, man, she talked a lot about how she br- – we love this about Thunder. You know, she brings that MMA approach to all of her matches. She has mm-hmm. that, 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 that – 
that pacing and that natural strike first attack mentality. Ty Conti brings that in her matches, man. It always feels like she's she's reading her opponent, she's analyzing the situation and figuring out how best to to beat her opponent in that any given movement. She, it it doesn't feel like she's ever um you know at a loss for how to a, a react to something that happens in a match or in a fight and that's right. something i really appreciate in a young star um it's a lost art in professional wrestling that i think was really showcased throughout this match um and when i talk about the hard hitting nature of this one dude i mean there was a moment where when ty conti need Sheeta in the face it felt oh. like uh Brit like Britt Baker I know Britt Baker made her appearance after the match but it felt like Britt Baker mm-hmm. was going to need to see the, the, the champion and maybe do some dental work on the yeah, champ that was a brutal knee for sure t- yeah I mean and that was a representation again like this match throughout incredibly hard hitting just absolutely uh back and forth it presented Ty Conti as a legitimate number one contender in this and which was another yeah. thing that I know you probably really appreciated, right? Because absolutely, there have been a lot of big wins for Ty Conti as she went on to that ten that ten win record to get her to be that number one contender at ten and one going into this match yeah. against Sheeta. You know, there were a lot of her big wins. It almost felt like you know there was distractions or a lot of stuff and noise going True. on at the ends of those matches, and it didn't allow us to celebrate Ty Conti and the rise of Ty Conti. Well, tonight we get to celebrate that because she certainly was p- showcased everything she had and she was presented yeah. as an equal to our champion who she is the longest reigning champion in AEW history, folks. Let's, That's let's crazy. put that in pen and write that one down because that is a fact. And when you see somebody young like Ty Conti, really who is still bursting on the scene, presented mm-hmm. in a way – where she is very much the equal, it, it adds some legitimacy to those who are pulling for Ty. I know there was a Ty Conti has a very passionate fan base, yep. and there were a lot of people who were, were chomping at the bit for her to win tonight. I think that it's not her time yet, but but tonight, after a showcase like tonight, just like earlier on in the night, I feel like Ricky Starks showed maybe it's not his time quite yet, but when given the opportunity. This is somebody you can rely on. I think AEW Brass pays a lot of attention to that. Mm-hmm. They're going to see this, and they're going to say, okay, note to self, when Britt Baker needs a challenger down the road, a natural baby face to go against that heel, obnoxious, over-the-top heel of uh, persona of Britt Baker, this is somebody we could draw on. Because obviously we love the Thunder Rosa feud, but she, Britt needs to have some other natural com- competitors against her. You know, Jade has that heel vibe to her. Nyla Rose has a heel vibe to her. It's important to establish baby face challengers down the road for a potential heel champion in Britt Baker. And Ty Conti went, did a lot tonight to show that she deserves that opportunity again. Absolutely. And it wouldn't have been a women's segment without the DMD showing face. And this was perfect. She didn't have to say much. She got a new shirt, you know, another new shirt. And this was help from the graphics team, as the, the announcer said, but how she's been really feeding into those ranking systems. Um, and then she comes out and then moves herself to the number one contender. And, you know, we are not far away, like you said earlier, from double or nothing. And this is a perfect uh I would say it could be co-main event, double or nothing. We don't know the card for it yet, but I'm all for her. Brit still just adding, adding some wins, adding some wins on you know elevation or dark or whatever mm-hmm. it is, just dominant wins. Um, and she's and, doing that, and she There's definitely no, yeah. is. She's yeah. been really you know laying some paint down on some people's faces and stuff. So <laughs> I'm all for that. So uh, that was a nice little segment. And then she'd have thrown the Kindle stick at her. So um, now we have essentially, hopefully we'll see she fight some more before this title match, yeah. you know, maybe not uh, just like a, uh, we're hoping for because she's so good in the ring and we want to see that. We, I don't want to have another month and a half hiatus of her in the ring. You know, I think that just, I think that you're right on SPD. I think that they need to do that because you know, like we you talk a lot about strike while the iron's hot, you know, right. like, and with Brit, you know, we all are chopping at the bit for you know, you know, I am. We're all chopping yeah. at the bit though to see Brit become the world the women's champion. And yes, like with Sheeta being the longest reigning champion, that will be a huge moment and a huge feather in the cap for the DMD, but how much more compelling would that be if we are True. reminded 
of Sheeta's dom like you know, let True. Sheeta have some big a match or two still before double or nothing where you are just you we have this reaction, right? Where we're like, damn, Sheeta is legit, man. Like <laughs> for sure. You know, that's it's important, be great. right? We need that. I think that that would build that because we've been reminded of Brit. I mean, the Thunder Rosa feud and that unsanctioned match. Everybody has finally put. They finally are putting respect on the DMD's name. But it, it, they, we need to have something similar where right. Sheeta has that opportunity. To, like, and tonight was a big moment for that. Mm-hmm. But where we're reminded of like why she is such a huge obstacle for the women's division and why no one has been able to conquer Sheeta in, in you know m- almost a year, right? Like just absolutely like over a year. Yeah. So over yeah. a year's time. So you know you got to think about that. So.